This is Alonzo Franklin Herndon, born 1858 in Social Circle, Georgia. He was a dreamer, so he had dreams. You know, dreams are dreams until you make them happen. He wanted to be able to show African Americans that you can come from humble beginnings, that you can be dealt a bad hand, and so it's up to you whether or not you want to continue to look at it as a bad hand or to make lemonade. So he walked away from the plantation, uh, from Social Circle to Jonesboro, Georgia. And in that great barber shop, he had 23 black barbers who could cut hair immaculately, but could not get their own hair cut in that barber shop because of the Jim Crow laws that we had. The second way he made his money was real estate. Here in Vine City, some of the homes were somewhat run down. He bought them up, fixed them up, and rented them out to other blacks who were glad to have decent, affordable housing to live in. And the third way he made his money was insurance. To be an entrepreneur, you know, even in that, in those early days, and to move from Jonesboro and to expand into Atlanta, and from Atlanta to build one of the largest black-owned financial services companies in the United States of America was quite significant. And so this house sort of sort of epitomizes that someone that's coming from nothing shows exactly what determination, perseverance, believing in God, and what that would do for any individual that want to put forth the effort to make it happen. This is one of those um, well-kept secrets. You know, it's hidden away in a part of Atlanta that a lot of people don't visit. And who would know that a house um, could exist at the time it did, owned by an African-American man? I mean, coming up out of slavery, coming up in, in an incredibly oppressive period, and, and showing entrepreneurial skills at the very youngest age that simply were added on to over time. I mean, this is a life that many people need to know about and emulate.